Hey guys, it's me again, your girl Raya, and I'm back with another video. Now, I'm here again to actually provide you guys with an MU Origin 2 video. And this is all about gear upgrades and as well as how to farm Emperors 2. The reason why I'm doing this video first is because a lot of players actually, they end up throwing their current orange gears and they don't really know on how to upgrade. So I'm here to actually help you guys out. Since you guys already know what the content will be for this video, let me go ahead and show you guys the game itself on how to do the upgrades and where to farm the tombs. So if you guys wanted to learn more information about it, then please stay tuned, okay? Now let me go ahead and get started with an example first. So I'm going to be showing you guys on how to upgrade my boots. Now my current... I can't really upgrade the other one because it's the set item so let me go ahead and do the boots the boots that i have right now is just the regular um red feather boots now the reason why i'm using this as an example is because i have enough materials to actually upgrade it so first remove it from your you know remove it from y using it and then make sure that you actually have enough um gears with the same kind of gears by the way it has to be the same or else it wouldn't work it, it couldn't be the set items or anything it has to be exactly the same now you have to go to crafting and then you have to go to gear upgrades gear upgrades there you go now if you guys notice i have the enhance and the appending set on one of the you know on one of the boots and then the others the other one doesn't really have one so put that as your main and then put the others on the side and with the emperor tomb you can actually go ahead and upgrade it so from the regular level five which is the red one now it's the purple one and it's actually now the level six now all you need to do is equip it and there you go so pretty much that's how it works now for upgrading like i said the gears it has to be exactly the same same rank same name you can't really use something that you actually got from kalima that has like a specific set like for example sophia's blah 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 um pessie's blah 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 and all that stuff so you can't really use that now i'm gonna be showing you guys something that's very important and this is the emperor's tube so i'm currently in laurentia now one of the things that you guys can do to check if there is you know if there's the thing that you wanted to farm in that area is if you go to maps you can look at the drop preview now as you guys can see in Laurentia there there isn't any emperor's tomb now emperor's tomb is very important it's because if you actually wanted to evolve your character and as well as um, craft or upgrade your gears this is the one that you actually need to have especially for for rank um, four five and six now, as you guys can see I'm currently now on um, on Noria sorry about that but it doesn't have it it doesn't have the Emperor's tomb so that's actually not a good spot now I'm currently in Devious and there there you go there's the Emperor's tomb now if you're looking for a farming spot I would suggest that you go to the world boss area the ice queen as you can see the world boss area is actually a good place to farm because if you go afk on that you might end up you know you might end up own getting the ownership of the world boss and at the same time you also get to loot the emperor's tomb now i'm also right now in tiny now you guys know that this is a pk area i don't really like farming here because in rune spiders those two spots there there isn't any there there's not really a lot of mobs to kill so it's not really something that i wanted to f you know i that this is not really a place that i wanted to farm at but it's also a good spot depends on your level now i'm currently in atlans and i would suggest that you go to kraken hydra or you can also go to the elite boss areas if you scroll if you scroll down then you can actually see that um you, there is an emperor's tomb there as well and now let me go ahead and go to tarkan now this is my favorite spot and i really 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 love to go to zykan 
and I wanted to go to the second part of Zykon which is like the isolated part there it's so easy to farm there I, I get a lot of tombs all the time so it's actually something that you can easily sell and at the same time it's something that you can do to you know to pretty much earn yourself some diamonds if you already have good enough gear so there's nothing much to upgrade now Ida which is the next map after Tarkan um, there's a different kind of loot there and it's for different class unlike Emperor's Tomb in Ida you can get the Tears of Spirit the Soul Reaper and then the one for mages so don't throw that it's important but just make sure that it's the one for your class if it's not you can sell that or trade that to someone else that that will make your life easier this is Tarkan Easy or Tarkan 240 um, if you want to farm the Tears of Spirit, I would suggest you go to Phoenix of Darkness or the Elite Bosses. Those are the best places to farm. So again, the best the, uh, the places to farm would be Tynute, um, Atlans, not Noria, um, and then also Tarkan. So those are the places where you can farm Emperor's Tomb and then the others, which is the Tears of Spirit. Um, that's the, you can actually farm that on Ida and above. Now, I wanted to show you guys um, the importance of that. Now, you guys, if you, it depends on your level. You guys might not think that it's actually important, but it is. It actually is important. So, like I said, make sure that you do not throw that. Now, here's another thing. Um, if you guys don't want to wait for the world boss, if the world boss already ended, which is after like one am my time which is philippine time you may also farm on the elite boss spot because every 10 minutes it refreshes and there is going to be elite bosses and in elite bosses you can actually loot emperor's tomb it's a part of their loot table um also for the world bosses in world bosses that's where you can actually get your gears now like i promised you guys i will be doing the gear content probably next time now as you guys can see this is an elite boss here so one of the, if you guys notice the drop i looted some um gears it's actually not so good of a gears but i also loot some tombs on it and i just wanted to show you guys that so that you guys will be aware on the things that you guys can actually do but like i said my favorite spot for my level when i'm farming emperor's tomb will be um in Tarkan and specifically it's going to be in Zykan so for the bosses out like I said I'll just be I'll be explaining that to you guys on my next video you can't really consolidate all of the things in just one video it's gonna be hard and confusing so let's just focus on one thing at a time one thing at a time <laughs> oh my gosh and here's another spot where you can actually farm i like farming here because there are two kinds of mobs that you can kill here and at the same time the elite boss also spawn in this area so farming here is actually a really good place and like i said this is my favorite spot this is the zykan this is like an like one of my favorite spot because i always end up looting a lot so what i what what i'm trying to say is not all the time you can actually be a hundred percent focused on the game most of the time you do autobot or afk while farming you know while you let your character farm i would suggest you stick here the only problem that you guys will actually have is the pk player or the player kill some trippers will just go to your spot and then just actually kill you but it doesn't really matter because you can still get good stuff now i wanted to show you guys another thing Thing here if you guys notice i hoard so many stuff so this that's the emperor's tomb and i got 58 and i've already consumed almost all of my stuff now here's another bonus thing that i wanted to show you guys on the video that's the firecracker what in, in my end the reason why i showed you that is whenever you're doing afk make sure that you have a party so that you can actually get additional loot that you can get when you're doing it solo it, again that's just an additional information i hope that helps you so now pretty much another thing that you guys wanted to or i want you guys to consider would be of course your bp 
you wanted to increase your battle points, right? So the thing that you do to increase your battle points is to actually enhance and upgrade your gear. Now, another example that I have is this one. Because I end up getting a rank 4 bow from a friend who who just who happens to quit recently. I'm going to miss you carry you. <laughs> so I upgraded it into a level 5 and, I, and I'm using that. But I just noticed that I already have two extra bows. So I'm going to be upgrading this one. So there you go. Like I said, make sure that you put your main bow. You pick it first. So it will be under main. And then you add the other extras on the side. Make sure that you have enough tombs. And then you can go ahead and upgrade. Now every time you actually upgrade your gears you will have additional um jewel slot to inset a jewel so the higher the rank the more jewels you can put in the higher the bp that you can actually get now the better the jewel that you put in the higher the bp that you actually get now i don't have a lot of good um jewels at the moment but it works i mean for my level i think i'm okay <laughs> I mean, I'm not really that low, but I'm not really that high as well, but I'm okay. See, as you guys noticed, since I upgraded it, there's like, um, actually, it's supposed to be just one additional spot, but I think I forgot to put another jewel on that. So just put in the best jewel that you have, and that will increase your battle points. So earlier, I got only like 82, now I got 84. And if you guys notice, my fortune is always favor of fate, fortune, or lucky. I don't go for ordinary or jinx because I want to make sure that I level up so fast. And, and like I said, fortune actually makes your life way, way easier when it comes to farming. You know, farming and doing your daily quest. Now, additional information, by the way. The alliance quest, if you guys don't know this... I would suggest that you do your alliance quest, alliance quest, when bonfire starts. And that's 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Now, if you notice, on the lower left part of your screen, there's actually a clock there that is synced to the game. You guys can take note of that and you can follow that clock to know what a specific time you know the bonfire starts or what the other events that they actually have starts now i wanted to show you guys because this is something that many of you guys are not really familiar like i said emperor emperor tomb is important but you guys might be curious why there is so much drop of the um, tears spirit that's actually because this is the one that you're gonna be using instead of Emperor's Tomb when you're planning on upgrading your gears from rank 6 to rank 7 so let me just go ahead and show you so I removed that um, equipment on my end but I don't have enough materials if you guys notice on my warehouse I don't really have enough materials to upgrade it into a rank 7 um, gear so Pretty much, I'll just show you that, the, you know, the one that is actually needed is the tier of spirit. That's actually for archers, but for warriors or, or for swordsmen and mages, it's something different. Now, like I said, that's the one that you needed. So please do not throw that. I beg you. <laughs> so that's it pretty much for my video. Thank you so much, you guys, for the continuous love and support. I'll be posting another video I don't know exactly when, but I'll be posting a video regarding Archangel and also on how to increase your battle points. So thank you so much for your love and support and see you guys on my next video. Peace out, XOXO, Raya. <laughs> OMG, I'm so sorry for totally forgetting, but here's my shout out. Um, shout out to Syntonica, shout out to Better Than You, shout out to Uren, uh, Urenz, shout out to Renz, shout out to Hunter XPA, shout out to my guild, shout out to Slash, shout out to um, Blast Flash, shout out to Carry You, I'm gonna miss you. So that's it pretty much, sorry and bye bye.